Darling, don't quit your daydream It's your life that you're making I'm trying to figure out what it's wrong. If it doesn't scare you, I have an MRI scheduled. I'm sweating. If it makes you nervous, it's probably worth it. Why save it for sleep when you could be living your day deep? 31 waiting tables. I'm at the door. Because it takes forever when you're at the doctor. My appointment was at 10. It's almost 10 30. Classic though. I'm sweating because I'm nervous. But you can't tell. So, update on what the orthopedics said. They recommended surgery. So I scheduled surgery for next Thursday. And I'm feeling okay about it. I have like really reconciled in my brain. Like this is what we just gotta do. I'm hoping for a speedy recovery. She said that 95% meniscus cases like this, I'll be like almost at 80% two weeks after. Most likely, so 95% of these cases and probably what she thinks has happened, is gonna happen to me is two weeks after I'll be at like 80%. I could be weight bearing the next day. Like I could walk out, I could have crutches. So. That is kind of unclear, but they're really hopeful. But then 5% of these cases, it's worse than they thought. And then you can end up in a full leg brace for six months. So I'm hoping, and they, she kept assuring me that she thinks I'm in that 95% because I'm young and healthy and whatnot. I'm feeling okay. I saw one of my friends has getting ACL surgery and I saw her like be real in like a hospital gown today. And I was like, Okay, that makes me feel a little bit more nervous if I'm being honest. Honestly, the biggest thing I'm worried about is like not being able to work out and like maybe I can talk about this more as it's happening, but or maybe I'll be fine. Um, but like, you know, I'm just a little worried about since it's such a big part of my life, what that's going to look like. So surgery is next Thursday. Pre-op is next Wednesday. I'll check in with you then. Still working out normal. She said I can work out as much as like normal. So surgery is tomorrow, which is actually, I feel like it hasn't like hit me yet. I like, everyone keeps asking me how I'm doing and I'm like, fine. Um, I feel like the things I'm worried about aren't necessarily like the surgery. It's like the recovery after the surgery and like the change in lifestyle I'm probably gonna have to make for, they'll let me know tomorrow, even today. So today I had the pre-op appointment and I met the surgeon and again, they told me that they're either gonna take it out or they're gonna stitch it. If they stitch it, it's gonna take more recovery time, but you might have less arthritis in your knee. So pros and cons to both. But yeah, I feel like it still hasn't really like hit me. What's hitting me right now is all the things I feel like I wanna get done before tomorrow. Like not to worry about work stuff. It is 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some stuff done before then. And then I'm honestly more worried about not being able to eat tomorrow. So I can't eat starting at midnight tonight. So no food, no water, no nothing. And my check-in time's 11.30. So your girl is gonna be hungry because I'm normally hungry when I wake up. So wish me luck. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling the night before, the day before. And we'll check in with you tomorrow when it's happening. Also, I got my hair done today. Can you tell? I feel like it basically looks the same. See you in the morning. It is a beautiful day. It actually is a really, really beautiful day, which is kind of a bummer because it's a beautiful day to have knee surgery. So we are about to leave to go to the outpatient place. I'm bringing a book. Should I bring anything else? I don't think so. I'm just afraid I'm gonna be bored because I have to get there at 11.30 and I can't leave till four, but the surgery is 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Make it make sense. Why am I there for like five hours then? I don't understand why we're getting there. So, book. I don't know why we're getting there that early either. 
I don't know either. It was noon and they moved it up to 11.30, so. What, what, so we're on our way. Knee. It's time to get better. Walking in. This is the current setup. I also have something on this leg. I don't know what it's doing, but it's making some noise, but we just got back from the center. We live like so close to it, so it was kind of nice. They wheelchaired me out. I I don't know why I was thinking like Obviously, I knew I was having surgery, but like once I got there and like walked into the room and they like started hooking me up to an IV and I was in a gown and like had a head like it like hit me. I was like, wow, this is like a surgery. Like This is like a big deal. <laughs> I don't know. So it was just I don't the only other surgery I've gotten is my wisdom teeth. And I guess I never even like you have stained your own clothes during your wisdom teeth surgery. So I don't know why I just like thought it would be pretty cash, but it was not they like hooked me up i had like they washed my leg and chilled there for a little bit and then i had like 30 minutes i listened to like my audiobook for a little bit and then they came in i don't even remember them i like thought they had like warned me to like put me to sleep and i just just remember that they were like putting my arms out and there's this huge light in the surgery room it was so bright in there and there's like so many people and i was like okay this is like starting to this is crazy and then Next thing you know, I'm waking up in the recovery. Apparently, the doctor came and talked to me, which I'm like, why did he even bother? Because literally, I have zero recollection of the doctor talking to me. But Andrew came and picked me up. I got, this is the bad knee. I don't know what this is doing. Andrew got me a coffee. My personal training client got that for me. Some donuts. So, getting showered with love already. There are my crutches and... My cute hospital socks. So, not even gonna lie to you, crutching up the stairs was a little struggle, right, Andrew? It was a struggle? It was a struggle. Two sets of six stairs felt like a lot more. It did, it felt like a lot more. Andrew's trying to figure out my medication because they didn't have it at one pharmacy, so he's gonna go pick that up for me. So, probably gonna live here the rest of the day. I did, this is a good update. I did get lucky, I guess. They did take out my meniscus, they didn't suture it together, which means I have a much shorter recovery time, like six weeks to be back to 100%. I should be back to 80 in like two weeks. Um, they gave me exercises to do and a bunch of instructions, which I haven't fully read through, but we are on the lesser option. Bummer though, because they're taking out, they took out part of my meniscus, which is like what cushions your knee. So I'm gonna see what we're not thinking about that right now. What activity I can yep. get back to, but let's just get let's just get, let's just get back to eighty percent. Okay. How are you feeling, babe? About I'm my good. surgery. I want you to put both of your feet up real quick. Though. Okay. <laughs> this foot. This foot. Let's let's let it be. I just meant for this foot. Real quick. Okay. Okay. I will be right back. Okay. You good? Husband award. Husband award. And that's the update. I'm gonna be here on the couch all day taking my pain meds. It went well. I have so many people already text me being like, how'd it go? And I'm like, I wasn't really there for it, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is, this kind of annoyed me, but the doctor did call Andrew and tell, told him that from where the MRI, when I got the MRI to today, the tear was bigger, which I wish maybe I hadn't have worked out these last few weeks, but the PA did tell me it was okay, so that's annoying. Maybe they could have taken less, but whatever you can't dwell on it let the recovery journey begin oh i'm feeling real nauseous right now I'm not feeling too good i've been like snoozing in and out but this god dang parking lot look at this i'm back i couldn't <laughs> Exercising. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's next? All right, now the heels down. So pressing her five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Do it again. Done. Okay. 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 Okay
them socks though. <laughs> Breakfast. Can't forget the donut and the pain meds. Literally back in the same spot I was in yesterday. So, is it just me or does my face look inflamed? Andrew, does my face look puffy? I think my face looks puffy. We're back icing. Spend the day on the couch, which is not my normal lifestyle. Not very sedentary most of the time. So, but hopefully we're gonna finish a book. So, be a nice chill, forced chill day. Okay, as much as it does not look like I have moved from this spot, I promise I have. Um, not very much though. I have been icing my knee. We actually just went to the park for a little bit just so I could be outside for a second. We have stairs leading up to our apartment, so it's been kind of, I haven't left. Um, got a few more deliveries of flowers so nice and wonderful I'm watching love is blind kind of same thing the nausea has been kind of worse I'm starting to feel a little bit more pain in my knee but it's honestly not bad I haven't tried to put any weight on it or anything it is been tough thinking about like not moving at all and just like how my normal routine I like move so much and kind of if you didn't know my past with kind of like disordered eating there have been some thoughts circulating in my head of like I should eat less or you know just worried about what this process will kind of do to me like physically and mentally and kind of like falling down that spiral and the worst part about it is I feel like I should be like over this because I feel like I have healed so much and for those thoughts to kind of come back it it's just a bummer but that's just me being real the doctor called to check up on me. Yeah, they said to use crutches for 35 days, put weight on it as I need, do my exercise every hour. We have been really good about icing it. This is like big brace thing is for like the ice. I should say Andrew's been good about <laughs> making sure I have my ice like 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off, 20 minutes on, 40 minutes off and making sure I do my exercises every hour. So we're doing as good as we can be right now, which is just chilling. I have. I can't show you, I have my two drinks on my book, but I've literally read almost this entire book from yesterday and today, so I'll probably finish it tonight. I've been working on an app, very exciting stuff. I'm gonna hopefully, probably, I was just realizing though, hopefully probably be releasing my own workout program soon. So more to come on that, but I'm realizing there are some exercises I don't have filmed and I was like, there's no way I can film them in the next few weeks. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. That's been today. First day post-surgery, nothing, nothing too horrible to report. Grateful to be alive. I felt it before I like I saw <laughs> what you needed to do. You went pen. We don't feel like it. And that we don't feel like it. Okay. This whole video is gonna be filmed either in here or on that couch. Um <coughs> Okay. I just had a little breakdown moment, which is about other things aside from this surgery, but I just am so shocked at like how debilitated I've been from this. Like I can finally walk without the crutches, but I move so slow and Andrew left today to go on a work trip. And so I 
I'm alone and I feel a little trapped and I'm sick like I aside from the surgery now also have a sore throat and like a nasal thing and just I'm like I'm just sick and I've been trying to work these past few days and I work a really unique job where you kind of have to like self-motivate yourself it's like I'm not an entrepreneur but I'm an entrepreneur okay of course this is there's whatever Hopefully it's not too bad and the camera's gonna die, but this is just tough. I I thought there were hard days to motivate myself when I wasn't feeling like crap and like kind of unable to walk and move and do the things that make me feel good, but I feel like I've, I've I reached a new level of low. I feel like I'm just like frustrated with work stuff, not feeling motivated, and then like just feeling trapped because of my knee and not being able to move a ton. And now I'm sick, so. This is just the real, real of, it's not even the pain, it's just the like, I can't do what I normally do and it sucks. And we are day five post-op and I'm just, every day I think I'm gonna be better the next day and every day I just keep being like, nope. I'm not healing as quick as I thought I would. I'm not getting back to like normal as quick as I thought I would. I don't. I really went into the surgery unprepared, only myself, mentally unprepared of how big of a thing this was gonna be. <laughs> so, if you're finding this video because you're about to get meniscus surgery, it's a big deal. I take off work for like a week, I don't know. Like, just my expectations of myself have been so high and I've just been failing those every day and I just feel like crap and I'm trying to give myself grace and do all the self-care things and it still just feels shitty so that's where I'm at me again in the same place on a different day so we're officially one week post-surgery and I'm feeling really anxious. I went to an event today where I had my crutches because I can walk on my foot now. I'm just like so slow. It is like painful to walk next to me. So I brought my crutches just so I could like move a little faster. And three people I talked to had also had a meniscus surgery. And the outcomes of each of theirs that they told me about were just like so different and like one guy literally told me I was going to be in pain forever <laughs> like after the surgery and I'm starting to get anxious about if this was the right decision if I shouldn't have got some of my meniscus taken out because it's just like bone on bone now and I'm just like <sighs> I'm just worried that I'm not going to be able to do the things I want to do fitness wise and I'm like worried I made a mistake and I shouldn't have gotten this surgery because like I'm like was the pain that bad like it only hurts sometimes like is this not as good of an option as just like dealing with it like and I know everyone's case is so different and another lady who I talked to was like don't listen to him I ran marathons on mine like you're gonna be fine but I like can't get this idea out of my brain like I keep thinking about it and I'm just like did I do the right thing like should I like it's just gross to think about I hate thinking about it and I'm like okay am I ever gonna be able to do what I want or was like I screwed the second I hit my like was I basically the moment I hit my knee and like my life will forever be different <laughs> like and I know that sounds dramatic but just like fitness is so important to me it's like I joke it's my only hobby but it is and it's like my outlet and I like I hate thinking about that like it's all gonna look different after this and maybe I should have done something else so I'm just feeling really anxious and just wanted to give an accurate description of like that's where I'm at and like only time will tell but like I just am like I don't know I I don't know like I just I'm feeling anxious and I need to stop listening to other people and just like be in my own lane and be like I'm a strong healthy individual and like I'm gonna do the necessary things to not have arthritis but I just like can't get that out of my head of like you're gonna be in pain the rest of your life but this guy was overweight and that's what they say don't do <laughs> so I don't know and there's nothing I can do about it right now like I just need to keep on the healing journey but like I'm just feeling anxious so that's where I'm at day six post-surgery 
feeling a little bit of regret if I'm being really really honest and I'm just hoping I'm just hoping I'm not in pain anymore like I'm just like I'm, uh, I just hope this was the right decision okay so obviously I don't want to be talking to a camera like just about this like I want to talk to people in my life but I I'm continuing to spiral about my knee and just I keep thinking about the fact they took half my meniscus and like bone on bone and I'm just worried I am gonna be in pain for like ever so I'm just letting my anxiety like really get the best of me and it doesn't help that Andrew's gone and this is the real. <laughs>